Oh, man. Folks, it's Sunday. Welcome aboard the Margu campaign. The tri-generational group is here for your viewing pleasure. Uh, or not. We'll see how they do. It's it's really going to be kind of a crapshoot, but it's going to be a fun crapshoot, as always. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to shoot the shit uh, about D&D with us. Join our Discord if you want to buy crap like a phone case. Uh, the link's in there somewhere. Most importantly, if you want to join us on a one-shot, this coming Saturday, uh, or on the talk show on Tuesday, M Hobo Inc., uh, Gmail, or Twitter, hit us up. We will get you on there. Uh, shout out to our sponsors, Pirate Dog Dice, making custom dice that roll really high, and there is a set coming at Man <laughs> Fang, because if anybody needs better dice... It's hit. So, Man Fang, this week you're getting new dice. I Yay. anticipate them rolling better. Uh, if your game does stink, try some Adventure Sense from oddfishgames.com. Makers of uh, Adventure Sense, makers of the Shine system to help you write, and uh, to a Kickstarter coming near you soon. Uh, how to RPG with your cat. Uh, I played it, it was fun. Uh, we'll see how we do. Uh, let's go ahead and introduce you to the Margu campaigners. We will start with the youngest member, Frank. Hello, I am Manfang, the fighter barbarian extraordinaire. I am right now, hopefully, <laughs> going to roll high. I rolled two 16s. I think that's my score the entire time. <laughs> I think from now on, it's only going to be ones. Manfang, we also have some character art for you that I need to send over. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it captures your essence nicely, unfortunately. Uh, moving Great. over to Dad, uh, Middle Frank. Frank, who are you playing uh, and who are you? Uh, I like cheese. <laughs> I like itching under a moon. I like to pee on different clothing. But in my after time, I like to play my instrument, and I'm a bard and a sorcerer. I like to burn everything and kill all witnesses. Leave no I'm John, I'm a raging alcoholic. Don't yeah. yeah, there you go, folks. This is what you have to look forward to. Next that up, Jason. The, <laughs> oh, that, that was the creepiest dating game introduction I've ever heard. Oh. <laughs> I've been sniffing this magic shop for a while, and it just kind of got me high. Which one did you get? Magic shop. Ah, very nice. Jason, who are you? Who are you playing? <laughs> uh, Copious Voltbitters III, uh, a, a uh, connoisseur of fine brews and an entrepreneur trying to make his way in the world with this group. You had that good deal on Lightreach. Till... I, I, I have a retirement home uh, in Lightreach right now. I hold, I hold uh, free and clear the title to a piece of property on the second tier. I'm looking forward to going back there. Okay. Uh, you got a few more days left on your Kickstarter, do you not? Yep. One week left. 95% uh, funded. Yay! Wee bit twisted. The uh, Rocky Horror Mummer Show 5e Adventure. Ready, ready and willing to uh, go to print in the next couple months here. Outstanding. Next up, the senior member of the group, uh, Frank. Who are you? Who are you playing? I am, the I am pro? Really? Frank Senior. Oh. Well, I, I stopped while I was ahead there. I didn't finish the word, but I play Leaf, the uh, wayward druid, and I wanted to help Robert out. I don't think that those particular type of vermin howl, probably more like squeak at the moon. Yeah, but in their minds, they're howling. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll okay. see how yeah. that goes. Yeah, whatever. Uh, next up is AJ. Hello, I'm playing Felix the Great, werewolf hunter. Boy, you're going to be disappointed. Silver <laughs> mermaid dagger. Uh, uh. Once it leaves its sheath, it won't return until it tastes blood. Mm hmm. <laughs> That's why he's a cutter. Yeah, well, well, yeah, let's go with that. Uh, last but certainly not least, Nicholas. Nicholas, who are you playing and who are you? I guess crap stain. I guess it's a man of few words, <laughs> and that just makes the show go faster. Uh, I'm feeling pretty green. I'm feeling pretty green, not gonna lie. Okay, well, we'll see how you do then. Uh, folks, these guys uh, left the ruins of Lightreach 
totally responsible by the deity, not them, or maybe them, maybe only 90, 97% them, uh, on the way into the interior, headed towards the capital city of Drake Larry, the Halfling Kingdom, uh, they met an interesting young lady who took a real shine to Buttercup, Felix's zonkey. Four of six zonkeys survived the sinking of their pistorus, their stolen turtle warship. Uh, Robert of Howling at the Moon and Manfang's zonkeys did not make it. Uh, everybody else is dead, and there was a lot of concern by Felix that his zonkey was next to disappear at the hands of these even bastardo halflings, but that was not the case. Uh, they met this individual, they chatted with a bit. Uh, the individual was headed towards Light Reach to meet up with her friend and compatriot, Rodrigo Montoya. She's in for a rude shock. Uh, these guys then reached the crossroads and opted to go straight, and they are headed into the town of Triorki, which is currently celebrating the full moon festival. Uh, intelligence rolls failed to remember that Robert of Zeppelin is a lycanthrope. <laughs> so tonight should be interesting. Now, off camera, uh, copious roll bitters has got a side deal that he's trying to finagle, and he and I are going to roll off. Uh, Copious, do you want a D12 or a D20? Uh, D12 is fine. Bad dice or bad dice. There you go. That's a 12. <laughs> <laughs> Were you close at least? 11. She will ponder. Take she ponder. She will ponder uh, that's close enough. I, I'm not, I'm not going to go with a solid no since it's that close. Uh, did you inform the others what you were doing? No. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so as uh, dusk settles in and uh, several tables have been moved to the, I guess, main street of Triorki, uh, everybody is in high spirits and the party is not outcast at all. So uh, they've been invited. They have met uh, Heine Ken, or no, Heine Kenna, a, a gnomish provider of libations. Uh, Copias has taken a special interest in this as she has a traveling wagon that he's got his eyes set upon. Uh, as we continue on into the evening hours, uh, Robert is feeling different. <laughs> That one I would buy. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, we, will, we will start with uh, Robert. Howling at the moon. What do you want to do here in Triorki? Uh, you guys have already started to go through the buffet line, if I'm not mistaken. I'm just grabbing cheese wheel. Sure. Plenty of cheese wheels the size of a halfling's head. Manfang, what are you doing? Uh, am I still in, in, in interaction with the 20? With the what? Uh, yes. The 20 you, is in love with me. I, the 20 is in love with me. You, you and Haggis have uh, found a young lady that has sparked your interest, although she does have someone running interference for her, which is causing you great consternation as uh, her friend is not helping the situation as you see it unfolding. So next to Copious, uh, but between you and the 20 uh, is her friend. What would you like to do? Man Fang, let's let's do a peace offering for now. Let's just take her food, sit down, and wait until the dancing starts. Wait. On on the on the dance floor is where everything goes down. <laughs> we can take a pause right now. The dance battle. O offer on the table. Come on, well, peace offering. If you break the promise. Stump. Let's talk about that. All right, cool. Fair quick, enough. quick handshake. Very nice. We move on. What are you guys uh, eating, by the way? You two. This is halfling food, so you know, eat like it's your last for me. So, Manfang, go ahead and roll Constitution check. Haggis, go ahead and roll Constitution check at advantage because you are a halfling. Sixteen. That is a eighteen. Real good. No ill effects whatsoever, man, Fang. Haggis? 
you're used to this fare, so you are also fine. I was kind of hoping for a low roll for a little bit of uh, gastrointestinal <laughs> distress. I think that would have made it interesting. Uh, copious full bitters, you and Hein Kenna uh, are in conversation. Uh, anything else you want to add to the table? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to suggest to her that uh, being part of a Vol Bitters franchise comes with additional benefits. I'm interested. Uh, so let's see. I do have uh, da, 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 da. persuasion. Can I try a persuasion roll to convince her of the, the, the benefits here? Sure. This should go south in a hurry. Oh, 23. <clears throat> so he, he's so we discount on some supplies once she's an established uh, a purveyor of Volbitter's Best. Uh, eventually, she'll be able to move up into even Volbitter's Black Label, the finest and most premium of, of alcoholic drinks available on any continent. You know, I, all, I, I tried really hard to get that on a t-shirt. It, I, it still needs more work. It's not coming through. The, and I, I, I will make it very clear to, uh, uh, I can't remember, Heine, whatever her name is. Heine, uh, Heine, Heine Kenna. Heine Kenna. Make it really clear to Heine that, um, you know, normally there's a substantial franchisee down posit uh, that is required, but <laughs> it, we may be able to work out a deal to get that at a low, low introductory offer. And that if she can get some subsidiaries working underneath her, that she will get a portion of their profits as well. <laughs> so a pyramid scheme. Let's see if she can uh, pick up on that. Uh, she is oblivious to the pyramid scheme. So that's a three. Uh, so to go ahead and get this straight so that there is no miscommunication between us, you wish to impart upon me the recipe of the sample that you have given me so that I can go ahead, copy it, make it under your label, sell it, but I will not get 100% of the profits. What's, what's my percentage cut? Your percentage cut at the, at the rate. It, now, normally for a new franchisee, we need a, a, larger, a larger deposit so you have a bigger return. But we're willing to wait that unless she wants to pay the full deposit now, uh, in which case for uh, you know, a low price of 100 gold, we'll just take a 10% a, a, a off the top if she buys supplies from the Volbitters factory. And I'll provide her the information for how to start getting that for the special recipe items that come from the Volbitters uh, brewery itself. And uh, that is located where? Uh, it, it's a fair piece away. You can start off with the initial recipe uh, uh, and then we will begin set you up to start getting deliveries from Volbitters Brewery, uh, Enchanted Forest, Volbitters Compound uh, very, very soon. As soon as she signs the contract, we'll, I'll get it immediately on its way to, to uh, the head of the company, Granny Goodwitch. One last question before I flip over to Leaf. Uh, do you have any other franchisees on the continent? Not on this continent. Aside from myself, as a purveyor of this fine beverage, moving across the continent, there is no other franchisee that I am aware of on this continent. You mean alive? Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, around here is smelling bad. It's a good thing I have some adventure sense. <laughs> hey, Copius is not uh, misrepresented or lied about anything so far. That's true. Uh, D12 against me there, Copius. Oh. Nope. Uh, as you are giving your sales pitch, several halflings come up and denote uh, the fine aroma and flavor of uh, Kenna's beautiful elixir. Leaf, uh, what, what are we doing? I last we left you, you were at the buffet, I believe. No, I was at the barn. Stay with oh, that, that's right. I was at the stable with watching the <laughs> I, 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 I tried to remove certain parts of the show. Yes, from my well, life. I was guarding the zonkies. Mm. I'm going to go on down to the, to the buffet now and get a bite to eat. I'm, okay. I'm tired from my exertions of the year day. 
and I need something to eat. So I'll right, give, me a, give me a constitution check. Let's see how you like the standard halfling fare. 13. Yeah, it's okay. It's not bad. It's it's festival food. Yeah. Uh, Half, you, halfling food. It's only half ass. You <laughs> it it doesn't measure up to human food. Uh you notice man fang and haggis in one section, Robert. Doing this, uh, you see copious embroiled deep into business dealings, uh, bringing us to Felix. What you doing? And you should be. <laughs> I should be tired? Why am I tired? Oh, wait, I might be tired. No, I think I was up half the night keeping an eye on Buttercup. <laughs> uh, I think I'm getting food at the buffet as well. I don't know if I've noticed Robert of Zeppelin with his issue that he's having yet. But if I have noticed it, I'm definitely going to try to stay towards his backside as much as I, as I can. Felix, you want some cheese? Give me an investigation check. Also, give me a con check on how you like the food. <laughs> uh, investigation was a seven. Nope, you don't notice. Nope. Uh, the con check was a nine. Yeah, you tasted a whole lot better. Haggis, uh, yeah. are you and Manfang at the same table plotting how you're going to do this uh, dance-off? What? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I'm hoping for some running man. That's all, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, everybody notices. Well, everybody roll perception check. Let's see if you do notice. It should be fairly uh, obvious, so it won't be too uh, bad a roll. Yeah, three. Fifteen. Dirty twenty. 18. Twenty-one. Copious and leaf. Thirty twenty. Leaf. Right, a natural 20. Haggis, uh, you are going through the moves in your head on how you're going to woo this uh, young lady. You do not hear it. Everybody else hears a parade of bells and the halflings go silent and look down the road. Yeah, boy. Ooh. Sounds fun. Uh -oh. I'm going to ask uh, uh, Hein <laughs> if he knows what that noise is. Why, yes. It's the abbots or abbot. abbot. It's the nuns of the uh, nuns. covenant. They are elven nuns of the silver moon. They oh. perform at this celebration every, every month. Oh. Uh, as you guys turn to look, the bells are actually silver mithril tubes tinker bells that the ladies chime uh in great acoustical ability uh each uh tube is a little bit longer than the others ergo there's a just a beautiful sound emanating from this group of eight elven women in silver robes trimmed in light blue just like the moon do i see them now uh, give me another roll. Nineteen. Oh yeah, you, you've uh, you've done the running man and uh, you've done the mashed potato. <laughs> okay, and crazy then, crazy idea. Can I do it again to see their charisma? The abbot or the <laughs> nuns? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> this is unholy. Oh, they're elven. Uh, <clears throat> about sixteen. All of them. Yep. They all look strangely alike. Oh. Strange. Why am these twins? As they, <laughs> as they reach the end of the table in the main road, they alternate splitting off. So there's four going down the row, four going down the row, and they begin this dulcet chanting that just encapsulates the mood, except for Robert. Give me a d20 roll, please. <laughs> Robert, d20. Sorry, I was yelling at a dog screaming. 
19. Uh, you just have this piercing headache every stinking time they bang that gong. <laughs> bang a gong? Uh, every, everybody else, uh, just it is a magnificent tune, old elvish apparently, uh, and it, it just flows nicely. And everybody, uh, including the halflings, are just just enamored by this song. There's no words to it. It's more of a a sensation of humming. Hmm. And Robert, uh, you might be trying to escape stroke. the noise. Um, probably head to the stables. Probably head to the stables and join Buttercup in her locked-in pen. <laughs> that sounds like a good. Oh, he just. I'm going to go to the stables. Just. Oh my I'm god. Going to stealthily slip out while nobody's looking and head to the stables to try to get away from this terrible noise. Give me a stealth roll, please. Uh, yeah, at uh, twenty-three. Everybody, give me a perception check. 18. 15. Uh, 25. 19. 10. Congratulations, Robert. You've slipped away from the party with your cheese wheel under one arm and just a uh, just a skull splitting piercing. Uh, as the lead, the two lead elves reach the far end, the back two stay at that end. And then there are two more sets in the middle. The melody just sweeps over you like a soft wash. Uh, it, it's almost like you're bathed in sunlight. You just feel positive. Are they playing the Halo theme? I don't like this. They finish up their uh, rendition of whatever the hell song that is. Uh, and everybody's... Marvelous. You all feel good. You feel vibrant. You feel alive. It's time to dance. Is it time for dances now? Well, there are three uh, halfling uh, bardic looking characters that uh, tune in their instrument. One has a washboard. Uh, one has a banjo. <laughs> and uh, one has a harmonica. Where'd you come from? Where'd are the elves still guarding the end? I wouldn't say guarding, but are they still near all the entrances and exits? Well, you're, you're in the open area of town. Uh, the elves are actually, uh, they've been invited by, I don't know, town leader, magistrate, some duty who looks like he's in charge to go ahead and enjoy the feast. And they are. Uh, no aged. juice harp? No juice harp. That guy died. He was in light reach distance uh, relative. <laughs> <laughs> So as you look over there, the elves uh, take a sparse smattering on their plates. Uh, you can pretty much denote that it's out of practicality or maybe even uh, politeness. Uh, they don't appear that they're going to eat very much at all. Uh, everybody give me a perception check. 23. 21. Natural 20. 30, 20. Manfang and Haggis? 16. Uh, Copious, Leaf, Felix. Wow, they are not going to eat very much at all. Well, apparently where they the hell is, Where the hell's Robert at? <laughs> uh, Robert, you managed to get about 100 yards away, and uh, your eyes start to refocus. And okay, the, the brain splitting torture is gone and uh whew, man oh uh, there's this table right over there you could probably take a nap if you want that, that was a lot of mental nice torture straw, finish eating this cheese maybe give some to the donkeys so they can eat sure nothing like stuffed up uh, farm animals uh man fang and haggis <laughs> you guys are locked this is what? it these what guys time are, is it? Uh, it's after dinner, so it's about eight o'clock. Time for the dance battle. 
I wonder I when he's going to uh, a wolf or whatever. I will now proceed to dance like Michael Jackson. Performance. I, yes. Wait. No, while he dances, I'm going to slip. I'm going to uh, sort of, you know, slip my way to one of the um, uh, music instrumenters, the one of the players. Sure. And I'm going to slip each of them one gold coin and, and, and tell them a slow song. Oh, okay. Sure. A slow uh, song with the banjo and the <laughs> And then Starting 19 for my that kind of like I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and Google uh, Dixie Rock later to <laughs> figure out what exactly they're I'm sure it's something by White Snake, maybe. Okay. Uh, Man Fang, what's your performance role? It was a 19. Ooh, somebody has kept his uh, moonwalking skills from, yeah. from the now defunct Village of Light Reach. Uh, let's see if you garner her attention. Give me a D12. 12. Four. What'd you go? What'd you do? 12. <laughs> What'd well, you get? Looks, looks like you get Velma. Oh, yeah. Uh, you do not garner the 20s attention, but her friend is quite impressed, as are <laughs> several other halflings, male and female. They have never seen the likes of this move. Uh, uh, picture uh, Marty McFly. I, I think I've had this happen to me before, so I will now proceed to take my bag of gold and make it, keep it in a safe place, just in case. Sure. And Nobody's happy. approaching you. They're just they're just watching you. I mean, might as well prepare, because we are uh, yeah. Right, right in the middle of the rendition of Billy Jean, uh, the twanging of the mouth harp takes a different tune and it just kind of slows down. Do you read to heaven? I slip swiftly, make my way to the 20 and ask her to dance as a song is about to be brewed. D12. Roll 12. Roll 12. Um, where is my T12? 10. Roll again. Six. Uh, nine. Four. Uh, I will engage in a dance. Remember, I do have her under my spell from uh, it was um, charm person. It yep. was my only spell slot. Yep, she is charmed. Now keep in mind that does have a time frame. Damn. What, what is it? I think it's only 10 minutes. So uh, I have 10 minutes to charm her more. I, I, I might be mistaken on that one. Eating. Uh, I think it's one hour. Yeah, no, I think it's probably one hour. No, it's 10 minutes now. Unless something happens to break the charm, like she takes damage or, or a werewolf. <laughs> oh, she can take damage and break the charm. <laughs> one hour. I have one hour to... And, to... and you've eaten and plotted with man things, so you think you got... I don't know. Give me an intelligence roll. Let's see if you guessed correctly. <laughs> yeah, should be a disadvantage just watching this unfold. Um, Twelve. Yeah. You're pretty sure you got about forty-five minutes. Yeah, Jason. I guess you know what's in your future, don't you? <laughs> hey, Dad. Look who I brought home. I'm going to hold up the the rating. Keep in mind the rating, son. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> folks, if, this is twenty. Uh, folks, this is PG thirteen. What do you say? PG thirteen for mature audiences only, but yeah. since we have since we have minors in the group, we have to whoo, not like last night. That was just freaking wild, wild west last night. Uh, so uh, copious leaf and Felix, uh, noting that the elves have a very light hunger palate, you notice the most ravenous member of your party is MIA. Uh, I don't know if I'm around any of the other guys, how close I am to them. I'm at the buffet. I got some food. Well, yeah, I don't, I don't yeah, see Robert. I'm going to go look for him. So I Copius doesn't care where Robert is. Let's just be honest about it. He, do, he doesn't care. I don't enough. trust Robert. <laughs> um, so, but... Copius has a phobia with elves of all shapes and sizes. And so seeing elves in the room not eating and the weird freaky music 
has copious on edge. So he's probably drifting away from the crowd and probably has put his plate down. <coughs> okay. Uh, give me a D4, copious. One? Yep. Okay. You head north from where the elves entered. Uh, I guess afterwards I'm going to tell you where your big mistake lies. Uh, Leaf, what are you going to do? I don't Which see direction? Robert. I'm going to head back to the stables. Okay. And Felix. Yeah, I'm going to stop eating and uh, just kind of survey the room, see what else I see, if anything is out of the ordinary. It, it ain't a room, dude. <laughs> oh, wait, we're not in a room? You're no, we're in the open. You're in a pasture. It's an open festival, baby. Oh. Uh, no, these halflings have, I mean, other than a polite nod, uh, these guys have not encircled you or attempted to uh, touch you in any manner. They seem to be a very simple folk. Mm -hmm. Salt of the earth. Uh -huh. you know, yeah, they're going to salt you in a minute. I, yeah. I've seen these movies before. Yeah. yeah, the last ones were simple fishermen. Uh, yeah, and we burned their town to cinders too. No, one of us. <laughs> yeah, but now uh, you do notice Hoggis uh, is zeroing in on his quarry. You notice that Manfang is wowing the crowd with his smooth dance moves. Uh, if I can I can't wow the crowd, that. I'll wow her and get her to come over here. Big plan. I guess uh, I'm going to look I'm for some. Christine degenerates and see if there's any gambling to be had around this moon festival. <sighs> Give me a D4. Three. Uh, you're headed towards the stable and as luck would have it, uh, there is a closed tavern, but there are candlelights in the window. <laughs> as you peer in, you notice a Game of chance appears to be going on. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Trying. I'm going to try the door and see if I can uh, butt in, for lack of a better word. Sure. There are currently six individuals there, halflings. Uh, tavern's closed. Ah, yes, I understand. It's closed, but I'm not looking for the tavern. I'm looking to try my hand at uh, that interesting game you seem to be playing there. Interesting game? You uh, a bit of a gambler, are you? Ah, I've been known to throw bones in a couple of continents. Well, if you aren't familiar with the game, I mean, we would, be, we would be remiss if we didn't teach you the basics. So, Absolutely. Uh, let's pull up a chair, my friend. We'll, uh, you know what? We'll do a few rounds without coin on the table just to make you feel at home. And then we'll sure. move on. And if you get the hang of it, if, you, if you're willing to throw a little uh, money down, uh, we might be able to handle that. Sure. Uh, Robert, uh, give me a perception check. Nineteen. Oh, there's something moving behind the stables. Dark, shadowy figure. Nope. Three. Three shadowy figures moving around the back of the stable. I am going to move stealthily at a 17 roll. Sure. And I, go investigate it. It appears to be humanoid in shape. Uh, half orcs have dark vision, right? Yes, they do. Uh, they're about your size, uh, your demeanor, your overall appearance only a little bit sharper there are romulans to your vulcan what was that last one uh they are romulans to your vulcan so they look close but they ain't you you want to what can i see what they're doing 
Uh, they appear to be trying to gain a better perspective on the festivities, uh, and each of them have sacks empty at this moment in time. Okay. I'm going to just kind of step out, weapon ready. Okay. Spell ready. And say, uh, what you uh, boys looking to do there? I will take an initiative roll, and we shall see. Me too. I got a four. <laughs> so you nearly make them jump out of their socks uh, because you were so well hidden. Hello, friend. Como esta, they say <laughs> in Orcish. That ain't gonna win. We uh, are, uh, but weary travelers. Uh, We overheard the dulcet tones and came to investigate from our cold, fireless campsite. We're hoping to gain lodging for you. Where? It's uh, you go down by the fourth sycamore, across the creek bed to the left of the fir tree, right of the deer carcass, and it's right there. The deer oh, carcass is an ours. Willie's barn. I mean, before Willie's barn over there. I am unfamiliar with the area, but sure. You don't even need to roll there up to something. Yeah, I know they're up to something. So, uh, are are you a member of this? Stupid... Down there. I, we, we would love to be introduced. That is uh, fantastic news. Please, I welcome. I thank you to uh, introducing us to your village. We appreciate it. Back to the party, and I'll follow after you. The, so Sally, head that way towards the party. Yep, head that way ahead of me, and I'll be right behind you. Sure, sure, friend. Uh, thank you, uh, and well met. We're glad to meet you. Uh, as uh, they get closer to the various campfires that have been set up for the festival. Ah, uh, they're pretty rough looking. They might they might have a little bit of half orc, but it's more like one eighth. Uh, they look a little bit uh, eh, sketchy to say the least. As you break into the campsite, uh, you notice that Manfang is dancing like Napoleon Dynamite for some reason. Uh, it's great. Uh, 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 it was amazing. You should have seen it. What was your performance role? My performance roles are 19, so I'm dancing exactly like I'm dancing amazingly. You should hear. You know, you need to read the room. Uh, I've heard of Napoleon Dynamite, and I've seen it once. <laughs> Have you seen you? Do you remember the dance scene at the very end? You don't. Now, if, if you said you dance like Rodney Dangerfield and Caddyshack, I'd be dead on for you. But just watch that, son. We just watched it. I, yeah. We did. Yeah, there's a lot of boobs. <laughs> So, uh, Robert, uh, the three individuals seem very content, maybe slightly ill at ease as they break in, uh, and they stop at the edge of the light, and wow, this is something else. This is, uh, why are you not a halfling? Because this looks like a halfling village, friend. Oh, I'm a traveling bard. Oh, so you do not reside here. Oh, ah, my apologies. I am not what you would call bright. <laughs> hey, he's just like me. Let me introduce you to a few of my compatriots over here. As you'll you pass. Think, you'll pass. Uh, the amazing uh, dancing is entertaining a crowd over here. Let me introduce you to a well-known brewer of sorts. Brewer is not there. He left. Master As did Leaf, because you guys did this. I'm so going to point him towards uh, Haggis. Uh, Haggis is there with uh, with the young lady dancing. There's a Haggis. Why don't you boys go over there and introduce yourselves to Haggis? Uh, uh, Sounds like these boys come down out of the hills, find them a wife. Yeah. Uh, they do spot the elvish women and dead stop. Whoa, <laughs> what are you boys stopping for? Uh, we do not like the elves. Ah, uh, who does? Uh, we 
Really I can't tell if those are women or boys over there. That's why we don't like the elves. They could be either. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we should talk to Haggis over there. Look at that pretty young filly he's talking to. Uh, too short for my blood. <laughs> mm. oh, man, PG are there any PG human PG. women here? Well, let's go over and ask the mayor. Uh, I'm very pretty. There are three males, humans, uh, and they are out of place here. Uh, let's move over to Manfang and Haggis. Haggis, uh, are what kind of dance are you doing? The standard slow dance? Well, doing it's a, a slow waltz? dance. So, yeah, definitely a slow dance. Give me your performance check. Let's see how many toes you Oh, start. my God. Please fumble this. I need a lot of dance moves. D fumble, Die 20, fumble, right? Fumble, fumble, fumble. Yeah, because I'm picturing a lane. Plus performance. Though, right? Seinfeld. Plus, plus performance? Where's, where's performance? It's, it's under the P's. <laughs> I, I know, but... Um, it's under P. Or bonus. You know, I had 14, so. Uh, you aren't doing too bad. Yeah. Not, not, not your not your wheelhouse, but you aren't doing too bad. How is she doing? It's a yeah. slow dance. Equal, mutual. Uh, she's a 20. It don't matter. <laughs> 16 on the roll. She's, uh, she's fine. Can I tell her expression of how I'm doing? How is she liking everything? She's kind of developing a tick. Elaborate. Uh, you aren't sure if she needs to sneeze or if maybe the spells are wearing her, off. Or, or if her magic disguise is coming off. Or, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The polymorph of pig fest was last night. Oh, yeah. Oops. I. As soon as I saw the elves, I was done. I'm out. <laughs> that, that's where I got my ass out. <laughs> I'm going to finish this song with her. That's, okay. That's going to be it. Uh, as the song winds up, uh, you can tell a fast song is coming, just by the way they're segueing in. And she's like, uh, thank you for the dance. Get a little uh, kiss, sir, I guess. It's clear that your <laughs> uh, charm person spell has run its course. Because it was Star Stairway to Heaven. Uh, or no. Uh, what's the really long one? In Agata de Vida. There you go. That's how long that, that song lasted. <laughs> In the Garden of Hobbit. Hey, I'd like to see somebody dance to that song, bitch. I can tell you that. <laughs> uh, well, Manfang's still out there cutting a rug. Oh, yeah. But it's I'm like not... flash dance out there right now. Well, you have to remember, <laughs> Man Fang's intelligence is a minus three. He's dancing that tune in his own little head there. Well, you know what? He's dancing like nobody's watching because he's you not bet. starting. Look, uh, Man <laughs> Fang, 12 against me. Let's see if uh, anybody joins you. He threw it, apparently. Yeah. What was yours? Seven. Okay. Is there any initiatives? <laughs> Oh, six. You know what? I'll join him. I'll join Man Fang. Yes. We will hoe down together. The Mobamba together. Mambo. <laughs> A Mambo. Mambo number four, apparently. <laughs> number four. <laughs> I'll, yell, I'll yell to the band, play Free Bird. <laughs> play the same song. Dun, 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 play dun, that Devo dun, song. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yeah, they're playing the Star Wars. Play, play Devo. <laughs> We play what we want. Uh, Leaf, you arrive at the stables. Do whip it. Oh, to the other one. I'm gonna ch I'll check the animals first, then I'm going to... All four zonkeys are there. Okay. Two pigs are there. And three small traveling ponies. I'm going to go ahead and get myself into a good position with a bale of hay and kick back and eat my cheese and whatever the hell I picked up. Can, can we and Haggis combine our dancing abilities? To get more people to come and dance. Yes, his dancing ability plus my dance ability plus math. What are you gonna do? Queen. Combine your rings? Rings of dance <laughs> power. Four. Are you guys Rose gonna get, before... get on the Nintendo dance pad and yeah. <laughs> Star Rush? Wow. Uh Felix, the uh game is pretty simple. It's uh, dance, dance six dance. dice. Yeah. Uh you can pull up to two dice to re-roll them. Uh not the full slate, so there is some 
a hindrance to it, uh, but it's it's not overly taxing. You've had worse games that you've tried. Uh, after a few hands, uh, you win some, you lose some. Uh, let's see, percentage wise, uh, you won three quarters of them. So seventy five percent. Go ahead and give me an insight. Uh, six. Yeah, these guys are great, and they are definitely 100% not cheating. <laughs> so, you seem to have picked up on it rather well. Uh, I don't know. Would you be interested there, Stretch, in putting a little money on the table, seeing how you do there? Sure. This game seems easy. Six dice. You can take away two of your roll. Uh, straights, five of a kind, essential poker uh, rules. Uh, so uh, go ahead. I'm going to uh, – I'll roll two for the table. And remember, I've got the loaded dice. Yep. And I can re-roll two of them? You can re-roll two of them. Uh-oh. <laughs> This game is one of the individuals I... has a straight uh, eight high, though. Oh, well, I've got myself a full house sixes over threes. My friend, you have picked this game up easily. Uh, everybody else had crap, so ah. <laughs> uh, you, you take a pot of uh, how many did I say were there? Six or eight? I think six. Uh, six. So, yeah, you took uh, – everybody had uh, two gold pieces on there, so you took back 12 bits. And <laughs> oh, congratulations, congratulations. Uh, one of the individuals gets up, goes behind the tavern uh, or behind the bar, uh, gets a pitcher, and uh, gets seven glasses. Starts putting it down. Oh, and one of the guys next to you nudges. He owns the bar. It's fine. Okay. Another round there, uh, our tall friend. Oh, well, I mean, uh, look at my fake watch. Yeah, I, I got time for one more. Sure. Oh, great. No shit. This game is hard. Oh, well. Would you look at that? I've got another full house. Four threes. <laughs> Everybody else has crap. Well, you know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, my friend. Yes, yes, you do. Uh, by the way, the ale has a nice cinnamon tint. Got a little bit of a kick. Uh, burns the nostrils while I'm drinking. Uh oh. Go, go ahead and constitution check. Uh oh. Uh, 10? Yeah, you've had better. Okay. Okay. Another, another roll, my friend? Well, I think I only lost two on that one. So, there I'm you up go. 10. Yeah, yeah. 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 Why not? Well, I really should be going. I mean, I... Oh, uh, it's early. It's early. Yeah, what are you wow, going to do? Dance? Okay. You don't want to dance. Come on. It's for the children. Let's exactly. do charity. You know, right. this is the charity game. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's not turning out as well. Four fours is Aaron. the high. I've got two <laughs> pair. Wow, that's that's pretty much stinking. Uh, over to Copius. Copius, give me a perception check. Ooh, 12. Uh, let's see if it's bad. Uh, 16 hit you? Uh, no, it does not. Oh, wait. Yes, it will, because I haven't cast Shadow Armor. Uh, a net appears from a tree and whoop, binds you up. Uh, you see 
three larger humanoid individuals charge out carrying short like uh, ship pegs, little billy clubs, and uh, they're going to start jumping on you uh, to try and keep you muffled. Uh, help! Help! I'm being repressed! <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I, do I have time to cast a spell? Uh, does it require your hands being free? Because that net is all over you. Uh, it's it's verbal just, only. Yeah. I th- uh, let, me, let me check real quick. Yeah, if it's verbal only, sure. I don't know off the top of my head. Let me check. Uh, verbal. There you go. Uh, my question is, if I cast it, does the net go with me? Good question. It does not <laughs> indicate. But <clears throat> so I can, I can, I'm going to use Misty Step to teleport 30 feet away. Is uh, within my field of vision. Are one of the buildings within 30 feet? Investigation check. Ooh, oh, that was good. Uh, 19. No, screw those damn elves. You wanted to get as far away from them <laughs> as possible. So you're a good 60 to 90 feet away. You know uh, what? Let, let, let me go ahead and roll something here. Uh, I'll give you I'll give you the benefit of the dice because the dice giveth and the dice taketh away. Oh, sorry. Uh, 80 feet away. <laughs> the, the dice do not like you. <laughs> uh, they rarely do. Uh, so just I, am I in the woods or in a field? Where am I right at the moment? You are the road leading in from the south side uh, is in woods, uh, deciduous trees, uh, very veilish. Yeah, it looks like a golf course. A lot of hills and mounds in there. Okay. If I can, if 30 feet, my teleport spell puts me out of the vision, immediate vision of the, the three attackers, that's oh, what yeah, they're, they're, they're dogpiling on you. Yeah, that's what he's going to do. He's going to teleport 30 feet away behind whatever he can. <laughs> if it's a wood line, wood line. If it's a mound, mound. You roll a d20, I'll roll a d12. If I beat you, that net's on you. Okay. Craptastic. 16. Five. The net is with them. Uh, You have dove down into a uh, sand pit, uh, and you can tell your general proximity is much closer to the edge of town than it was a moment ago. Uh, The three oafs are just trying to get a strike in because they don't really realize that underneath the pile of the three flabby-ass bodies is no known, so it's going to take them a minute. You say three elves or oafs? Oafs. Stooges. Okay. They're, they're going to be uh, orcs. Oh, dumb dummies. No, not uh, not dragonborn. Orcs. <laughs> <laughs> hey. That you, you resemble that remark. I know I got it. <laughs> um, it really hurts, don't it? That cuts you right to the cheek. That's dragonborn Uh So, Copius, what, uh, what's that next action you want to take? He, he will try to move through shadows, uh, stealth, uh, in a wide arc away from them, but try to get back towards town. Sure. Uh, you can make a pretty much good beeline to it, to a, a group of tables, where the men folk have gathered. Uh, over to Robert. Uh, Robert, your three friends seem very ill at ease at the presence of the elves. What do you think? I want to try to uh, kind of huddle them over towards the elves. That's not going to happen without force. Yeah, friend, we friend, we've uh, we've uh, we made a mistake. Uh, we don't want to intrude on this celebration. We'll be going now, and they start to try. Oh, and... gentlemen, friend, <laughs> friend, play. Should we quietly talk about what we're really here for, or should I blow explosion to cover? Or we can keep this quiet between ourselves. Uh, friend, maybe you can't count. 
there's four of us here. And maybe you can't count. And only one of you. <laughs> you only see the one of me, but you don't see the other five that are not here in front of you. On the shoulder, <laughs> their fourth has arrived. <laughs> go. Let's roll initiative, Frank. Okay. It's time to get bloody, boys. Seven. Nineteen. There well, you go. that's without the plus three. You got four of them on you. Shit. What do I have left here? So we will cast. Uh, let's do a thunder wave. Nice. At the three or the one? Thunder wave's a cube. Oh, okay. Nice. Isn't that, wasn't that the cube? Sorry, I was bringing up my uh, app so I can actually see it all. You know me, I do not do spells very well at all. I'm trying to, but I, I know there's thunder wave, there's thunder clap, and I get them confused. Thunder clap's what Felix has. No, that's called the clap. There it is. Sorry. Uh, yes, 15 foot cube, instantaneous, yes. verbal and somatic. And that was the thunder wave, right? Thunder yes. wave, yes. All right. So, con save. There it is. Uh, the leader will be the root beer. Frankie just came in to tell me I've been muted the whole time I sit there talking. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you uh, hate it? Yeah, I hate that. 16, 20, 11, and 2. So I believe. 2d8, and I take half on two of them. The other two I take full, and they're pushed back. Uh, Second level. Three die eight. Oh, very nice. Thank you. Eighteen for those who did. You, you're just going to divide that in half amongst the four. So two uh, of them take eighteen, and the other two take nine. Correct. And two of them are knocked back and are unable to attack this round. Uh, the other two, including the leader. Uh, orange and root beer for the leader. Whew, I do not think so. 13 doesn't get you, right? Nope. 15 doesn't get you? Nope. All three miss. Uh, two attacks by the leader, one attack by the other one. Uh, the sounds of battle are afoot in both ends. Leaf, Burn the village. And Bang, no. Felix, and Huggis. Uh, Hog or Felix, you are at disadvantage. Everybody, roll perception. I assume I don't need to roll perception, or is that yeah. 24? No, you... 14, 19. Uh, Haggis, Leaf, Manfang, what was yours? 10. Haggis and Leaf, uh, <laughs> Leaf. Jesus Christ, somebody is screaming and yelling and you are trying to sleep. I know, stable. what the hell. I've got to go look out to the where the sound seems to be coming from. Haggis, uh, your <coughs> entranced look at the 20 and Man Fang's horrible rendition of the end of the world by REM <laughs> is enough to just, uh, uh, and you look to the south as your eyes roll and you see Copius <laughs> doing this, and then you see three figures pop up on the little hill that he's on the other side of. Felix, I'm going to give you a win for not uh, hearing the commotion outside, because everybody's cheering. You're doing great, my friend. That's 12 more gold. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Leaf, uh, you are clearly in the north. Uh, give me a perception check. That's uh, 27. 
Uh, there is a rolling orc body about 25 <laughs> feet away from you that has been blasted away by the thunder wave by Robert of Zeppelin. You see the prone individual. You see two individuals on Robert. Copius, uh, you see three individuals cresting the hill, headed towards Copius and a group of men drinking. The uh, prone individual, if I'm close enough, I'm going to attack. Sure. You can use uh, not even your full movement. Get over there and give them a whack at advantage. Yeah, as soon as I find myself here. Ah, that's a 19, I assume I hit 20. Yep. 12 to hit these guys. Oh, okay. Um, that's two swords. These are not your monster manual orcs. That'd be uh, five and six, 11 points. Uh, you yeah. said with advantage because he's on the ground? To hit him, yeah. Oh, they, oh okay. Uh, he's hurt <laughs> and he ain't happy. Uh, we'll go with Cope or Haggis. What do you want to do? What are the, so if everyone is sort of aware of everything that's just kind of happening, the halflings are immune to this. They, they don't really. They think <laughs> What What about these elves? I'm glad you asked. The the elves seem to have taken a rapt attention. Forehead south. Forehead north. I'm gonna stay behind the elves and see what they do with my um, hero. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I will also cower behind the elves I with think. my um both daggers ready for backstab. I'm gonna watch what these elves do. You know, learn the I'm, battlefield before you. you I know going it's to... not all about fighting. Wait, guys. can I see? Can I see? <laughs> yeah. You may see who's <laughs> winning before you pick a side. <laughs> it's, uh, since you're not allowed to say it, I'll, I'll say it for you. I'm going to chicken shit back here behind the elves <laughs> and decide who I want to stab first. Yeah. Man Fang, you have just finished your rendition of the song. Give me a performance check. That is a 19. The thunderous applause by the halflings has captured your attention at your dubious uh, rendition of said song. You are clueless as to the fight of Bruin, but you know what? You bathe in the warmth of the accolades. <laughs> I want him now to cross train as a bard. He has got the bug. Could I? Could I do that? Could I do that? Just not even. Next next uh, level, you can. I don't care. Do with that, with that exceptionally high charisma, he'll make a fabulous bard. <laughs> uh, Copious, let's go back to you. Uh, you have escaped from the three oafs, uh, but they are in fresh pursuit. Uh, I Can I cast shadow armor and keep <laughs> open it towards the uh, table? Uh, as you cast shadow armor, you see uh, four fearsome elves with determined looks on their face, chimes at the ready, uh, only instead of holding it like this, they have flipped it around. And as you pass by them, Bang! They ring it in a pulsating wave, similar to what Robert of Zeppelin has done, emanates out and thunderclaps uh, the three. <laughs> Five, four, and ten. They take the full brunt of the thunderclap times four. Oh, uh, I can play my two for you. As you pass by this fearsome foursome from the Minnesota Vikings, uh, you notice that Haggis Crabstein is bringing up the rear in true heroic fashion. <laughs> Ready to pick a pocket. That's right. Uh, now everybody will hear it, including Felix and Manfang, because the thunderous sound can be heard 100 feet away, and they take D6 times four. God bless murder hobo dice. Uh, they take 24 hit points each and are blown to bits. All three of them. Is it like, like a go ahead, backstab? 
Come on, Haggis, jump him, jump him, baby. <laughs> Come on, Conan the Destroyer. <laughs> you might scratch one of them. <laughs> Outer skin is too tough. I must have no, he's not Conan. He's that little guy that followed him around all over the place. Right, the him at the end. Uh, Felix Manfang, uh, the thunderclap has aroused your suspicions. Uh, Felix, as well, give me a dex check to make sure you scoop up your coins before the other gamblers uh, hijack some of it. Oh, 22. Oh, yeah. I got dexterity fingers. Well, uh, you get all the money owed to you, and everybody... Makes a break for the front door. Uh, D12 against me. Let's see where you land in the stack. Three. Ten. You're last. <laughs> That's how you got all your money. Robert of Zeppelin, uh, you've blown two away. You still got two on you, including what appears to be some kind of boss man. Give you me a perception them? check first. You Give me a what? Perception check first. Perception. 21. Uh, you see four elves running towards you. The head one and a piercing pain goes into your skull. Uh, out of the corner of your wilted eye, you notice the other two are starting to wilt as well. Your attack will be at disadvantage, as will theirs. Okay, okay. Collateral. Okay. Uh, is that the orc blood or the were rat blood that's causing the problems? Were rats. <laughs> there be uh, seven were rats here. Oh, sorry. Who's counted? Eight. <laughs> I'm casting shatter. Sure. Ah, look, at, look at Felix. <laughs> uh, that is a constitution saving rule. I will be silver arrows, man. Uh, I would have passed on one. Uh, Thirteen. Con save is twelve. So yes. Uh, so yes, even at disadvantage, the boss man saves. The other one does not. All right. Damage on the one. Twenty-one points. Dead. Just exactly dead. The Luby. Uh, <laughs> one to two, I run like Hoggis Crabstain. Uh, anything above <laughs> that, I stand and fight. <laughs> Three, I'm going to stand and fight. At disadvantage, my first attack on Robert. 19 and 19 plus yeah, definitely hitting. four. Second attack at disadvantage. Uno and a six. So only one of them hits. He fumbled? Uh, the other so one was up. Chance he could fumble and drop his weapon and not hit me? Uh, no, the second attack was the fumble. 11 hit points of damage as his axe connects. As he does the backswing, he buries it in a tree. And it is stuck. 11 more points of damage. The elves are quickly approaching. And again, the mistress. Ah. Oh, well, that even says Mithril on it. I saw it. That's right. Uh, Felix, you and Manfang are now well aware that shit's going down. Uh, All right. Both of you roll a die. Odd, you're looking towards Copious. Even, you're looking towards Robert. Even. Odd. Manfang, you see three creatures just implode, uh, sending entrails high into the sky, covering the table of male halfling drinkers that Copious didn't bother to warn and just decided to run um, past. Uh, <laughs> Did the people notice this? Oh, everybody notices it because I was... will say, people do not fear, for I, the great man fang, will take care of this oh daring problem. 
They uh, hand you a mop. Do your next roll and walk right into a tree. That's what I need to see right now. Mop in a bucket. <laughs> and I will now go attack the nearest enemy. Uh, all three are dead. <laughs> They're uh, liquid by uh, They're puddles, man fang. Yeah, I'll go I, step in the puddles. <laughs> Manfang uh, the noticeable. He's going to go dance <laughs> in the puddle. Protect you from the harms that might come our way. I will try to woo the crowd and calm them. They do not call me Captain Observant for nothing. <laughs> uh, Felix, you can uh, give me a perception check. You'll clearly see Robert and the big guy and the four elves. Fifteen. Uh, that's going to be high enough. You see Leaf uh, in a small copse of trees battling it out with his foe. Uh, I guess whoever is closest to me, I'm going to shoot at one of them. And I think oh, it's probably going to be... Shoot at Roberts! Shoot at Roberts! Leaf the pro. Damn it. All right. Well... Ding. I don't think that it's 11 is back, right? good enough to hit. Right into the tree. That it? That's enough. Don't encourage it. <laughs> I didn't know I had options to do more. I, I don't know if you do or not. I don't look at your character sheets. So, uh, Haggis, uh, you have chosen to bravely hide behind the skirts of the women. I'm and ready then... to backstab. I'm, I was. Are you going to backstab? Opportunity... Are you going to do the elves? <laughs> well, uh... yeah, you do. You're on your own, son. <laughs> so, and which. Um... Part of my, I didn't actually choose where I was. You went was, south. You saw Copius first. Okay. Am I too far away to engage with um, Robert in this turn? To sort of like. Mm -hmm. He's at the other end of town. Okay. Uh, also, Man Fang is yammering on about he'll protect everybody, blah, blah, blah. Man Fang D12 against me. Ah. 11, baby. The 20 and her friend notice his boasts and seem to take a casual interest in it. I'm I leave. guess it's slipping through your fingers. I mean, I could always just do another show. Uh, but jo Jody's back the, in town, man. The... um. I'm guessing these elves aren't having any bags of some kind. So these instruments they have is on their Webster, in their hand, or in their hand, okay. uh, in their prison wallets. <laughs> well, now that they're here and they're not, you know, they're not fighting anybody. I'm just gonna tap one on the shoulder and say, "Hey, that was a very nice tune you played. What is that?" Hey, lady. Hey, lady. You're short. That's not her shoulder. <laughs> Uh, she turns around and dead eyes stare back at you. It was a holy song of our order, friend. <laughs> Pushes you out of the way and returns to the center of camp as all four have seen the battle raging at the far end. They Take move thing. quickly. Lickety split out of the way. You know, we just have to make a puddle. We just have to make an accident happen. And then it's all... Sure. Uh, you can create pothole. Uh, but in the meantime, <laughs> Robert, you are facing off with a very dangerous-looking adversary. Uh, again. Ding! Uh... <laughs> all right. Casting again. Which is bolt. At disadvantage. At disadvantage. Double roll. 19. That's my spell. Where the hell is the spell attack? Uh, should be, depending on which character sheet, it should be right in the middle. That would be 16. Uh, no, 17 for the boss man. Uh, the witch bolt rings off his somewhat steel, blackened steel armor. Uh, and you can tell this guy's hairy. I mean, he's just furry. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. My turn. Same roll. D10. Nope. 
stand and fight. I do not care that I'm about to die. First roll at disadvantage. Deuce and a four. Second, oh, uh, first roll, I had to take my blade out. So second roll, I got it out and did not aim true. A blast of lightning comes out of one of the sisters' hands. Which is, which is? It connects. With who? The bad guy, not okay. you. <laughs> Uh, snake eyes, not going to bring him down at all. Um, full bore, uh, the other three move off and they're going to try and corner this corner this individual. Uh, Leaf, uh, your guy has now gotten up. So it's go time. Don't forget, Leaf, you're muted. Muted. I'm sorry. I had 15 to hit. That hits uh, the, the regular guy. 14 points of damage. Oh, yeah. He's done. He is baked Alaskan. Uh, what were you using on him? Uh, my scimitars. Uh, off with his head. Uh, just as he raises his blade to slice up your skull. Uh, that takes us over to new round. Uh, Felix, uh, you misfired. Uh, we'll let you go ahead and try and uh, repair that. All right. If uh, if Leaf's foe just got executed, I guess I will turn my attention towards one at Roberts. Yep, 17 to hit. 17 to hit. Nat 20. <sighs> nice. And I'm uh, this is a sneak attack, I assume I can do that? Oh, yeah. He doesn't see you coming. Perfect. He's more focused on Robert and the chicks. 19 damage. That's going to hurt him. Copious, uh, you're running headlong through the crowd. Excuse me, pardon me, pardon me, excuse me, excuse me, pardon me, pardon me. Uh, the elves, of course, are fleet of foot, and they are well ahead of you going to assist their compatriots up on the slight rise where Robert is uh, evenly matched, we'll say. Uh, so I just, to, I want to make sure I have, do I know where the beer wagon is? Oh yeah. Okay. Is it in the general same direction I'm heading back towards where the stables and the other end of town? It's parked in between a set of buildings on the right. Okay. Uh, so, and I see Robert fighting. Or mm -hmm. I see Felix shooting into Robert. All right. Mm -hmm. If I can see the, the attacker, I'll try to shoot the attacker with an Eldritch Blast. Uh, yeah, you can see him. He's behind Robert. So it's uh, it's not an easy shot, but. I don't care. <laughs> Natural 20. Oh, very nice. Bolt, uh, that's for the first bolt. Second bolt, 22. Robert. Foom. Foom. <laughs> Um, Your friends are helping. <laughs> Twenty-four points with the first beam. Oh, that's that's more than enough. That puts him at sixty-eight. He's down. That was, uh, yeah, that was uh, the natural twenty. So nice. He's down. Everybody's down. Uh, Man Fang, what are you doing? I will go over to see if they, if <coughs> number twenty or <coughs> the twenty, <coughs> put a dagger assistance in, in escaping. I'll go see if <clears throat> she is. Uh, she is impressed by your bravado. <clears throat> <laughs> then I will help her escape to safety. Uh, you drape your protective arm over her shoulder. Follow me, my dear. I will take you to safety. Her. <clears throat> Heavier friend is also in tow. Save me! Save me! Yes, uh, yes, later, later. <laughs> Man Fang, uh, you see the battle seems to be well in hand, and Man Fang is escorting off uh, your competition. Are you talking to me? 
I'm gonna give. I'm okay, gonna you give. don't need to have legs to have fun. <laughs> so is it my turn now? Yeah. Okay. Can I see <clears throat> that Robert is holding back some sort of power that could potentially kill one of these elf maidens? Like, could I see him at all trying mm. to, to to hold back something? Robert's no. He was more concerned about the guy beating him with his axe. Even though they made noise and he did something? I don't think he's put two and two together yet. More concerned on the thing that was trying to kill me. Yeah. Okay. And I loot pockets. The thing that, uh, the dead Go thing. ahead and make your attack on the elf. <laughs> I got your back. So are you looting? Not now, the, not now. Are you looting the blown up ones that Copius was facing initially, or are you looting the one that you had nothing to do with killing, and you're just going to hog the treasure? Well, I was going to go to that one, but is there any yeah, remains? That's how, that's how I'm viewing this. I'm one. not. Is there any remains to the one that um, got blown up? Nothing, right? No, it is scattered. It's like Quentin Tarantino. He just blows the, up. There's nothing there. Michael yeah. Bay. Michael. It, everything's just exploding. Let's say out. I'm going to look for a like um I'm I'm looting for gold of course but I'm going to say I'm looking for I, I'm like looking a like a letter for... saying kidnap people or something I'm I'm searching for the motive of these I'm looking orcs. for your ID sir just calm down Sure back to the future too uh, I'm just looking for his driver's license uh-huh. uh the elves are looking at Robert uh, Felix, what you gonna do? <clears throat> uh, Did you see that shot you pulled off? Holy crap! It was almost like a witch bowl. That yeah, was a, it was amazing. That was an amazing shot. Yes, it was. Hey, what's that over there? And I'm gonna kind of <clears throat> recess into the shadows a little bit, see what else is going on, waiting for the next shoe to drop, so to speak. Sure, sure, that's fine. Uh, Leaf, uh, your guy's dead. What do you want to do? I'm going to go up to Robert, see if there's any, anything else up there that needs me. You can see uh, you've got the uh, eye thing going. He's kind of rubbing his temple. Uh, the four elves have now quadranted off uh, and are on the corner of him. One of the elves seems a bit perplexed and asks Robert, uh, Brave warrior, are you okay? <clears throat> Mute. Muted. You're muted. Hey, that was not. You're muted. That was a great speech too. <laughs> Freedom. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Said, ah, I'm not, I'm not feeling the greatest right now. I'm gonna do a little healing on myself. You know, I just I can't see these people getting hurt over something like this. When you think of me, you touch yourself. I understand, brave warrior. Did she, uh, she ring the bell as he was talking? Mm -hmm. uh, the, the other four have arrived and have you surrounded, Robert. Uh, this one was a little bit more potent. It caused you to take a knee and gave you two psychic damage in the so process. All eight elves are now around him? All yep. I'm still focused on saving La Princess. Uh, yeah, uh, there's, there's no danger anywhere, but she does not know that because of your charm and uh, draconian arm covering her eyes. Oh no, more arrows. Trust me on this one. <laughs> yes. Listen, Grand Theft Auto 5, keep it in mind. Hey, I don't play that game. That's I okay. Only, I only play mature <laughs> games like Doom, stuff like you, that. You know what the best part about uh, having a girlfriend is, man thing? What's the best part? I don't I always know. have mean dads. <laughs> <laughs> Guess who you're going to meet here in just a second? <laughs> oh boy! Oh, yeah. or, or worse, mama. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, oh, man. Thing, I, I got your back. I got your back. <clears throat> yeah, you, no, I think you, you got the back elves back. Why you stay away from my woman? Uh, Robert, as the piercing pain starts to subside. You assume it's the head cleric uh, announces that this individual is sullied and needs the cleansing hand. 
Oh, God. He's got a bad touch you. I'm going to cast silence. Pinpoint it on me. Sure. Robert, the priest is going to bad touch you. Whatever the hell that means, I got to do it. <laughs> now, did you heal yourself yet? No. Who's had time? Well, I was going to, and then they <clears throat> bring the damn gong on my ass. I, I, I don't know, Mr. Silence. You could have healed yourself at first. <laughs> Uh, as you do that, uh, damn Lord of the Rings elves, you are inflicted, my son, and need cleansed. The holy Only a, a much classier female voice than that. The holy yeah, if that's a female that voice, I'm getting the hell out of here. <laughs> Have you ever thought of joining the, the Geneva Convention? <clears throat> So uh, where's everyone else relative to what we're going, what's going I'm, on here? I'm with uh, Robert. Leaf is with Robert. Haggis has weaseled his way in between the legs of the cleric and is picking through the pockets of this dead orc commander. Felix is nowhere to be seen. Manfang is also MIA and you are kind of bringing up the rear. So and you like, can tell it's not good. So there's the, the eight elves are surrounding Robert, but because of where Leaf is, is Leaf in the middle of those eight elves too? Yes, he moved in. Yep. So you have three party members surrounded. Wait, and I just want to check this. All now suffering under Robert's silence spell as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. What does the spell do? It uh, 15 foot uh, circle of silence. Is it? <clears throat> Twenty foot spear. Uh, no noise can be. Uh... So Haggis, it's... <laughs> yeah, but that means Leaf can't cast a spell with a, a verbal component. Haggis can't cast a spell or say anything that anybody can hear. Robert mm -hmm. can't say or cast anything either, right? I can and, and you cannot deal. hear yeah. stuff coming in. Yeah. But from what I'm, what we're seeing, these elves are just are. What are they doing? What are these elves doing? They're like, laser focused on Robert. But are they doing oh. anything that would look suspicious? Maybe they might kill him. They have surrounded him. Each has their mithril tubes. Would you just go backstab him if that's what? <coughs> uh, no, he can't backstab him. He's in the center. In with the center with you and Lee. Okay, okay. Can I, I get uh, a surprise attack as they look at me? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I sort of. Did I find anything off the, the orc captain or whatever? 45 gold pieces and gems. Awesome. But, um, okay, I, I sort of like, hey, back off, elves. I sort of do this to the... <laughs> okay, okay, I... I, um, I <clears throat> now you realize silence is in full. <laughs> okay. You can't I even hear little, yourself. <laughs> a little more, a little more intense... So I prepare acid splash and draw my blade. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I do it in a way so that they see what I'm doing. Like, <laughs> Oh, trust me. They see. <laughs> uh, Leaf, you're kind of stuck in the septic tank. What do yeah, you want to like do? This. I oh, went ahead and healed so. Robert. So. Does that uh, have a touch. voice? No. Okay. Fair enough. Strict <clears throat> touch. You do not hear anything. Only Robert hears the mystic voice projected yep, into his hear. brain. I am ex I've taken a quick look at the uh, leader of the orcs at that black armor he's got on. Mm -hmm. It looks uh, strange. Everything but the fact of getting... I'm going to take a real close look at it. Is it plate or is it male? It is a uh, half plate. Half plate. Uh, man fang. Odd dad, even mama. Six. <laughs> mama, mama was helping prepare stuff, and she's got a mean-looking ladle, and she wants to know what you're doing with her daughter. Your daughter was in danger. I needed to help her. I wasn't trying to do anything mischievous. I was just trying to help your daughter. I didn't. <clears throat> I was just trying to save the people. You heard the speech. I was just trying to know. The people, i.e. her, uh, persuade me. What's my persuasion? It's Probably minus zero. 12. It's a, it's a plus zero, so it doesn't matter. <clears throat> that is a... Oh. 
Well, I appreciate your bravery and your gallantry. Mama will protect my daughter now. All right. Okay. Her her daughter's friend, doing right on you. <laughs> okay. You can I protect me. Damn, I cannot right now, but I need to go help my friends. <laughs> I must phone. save my friends. They're right over um, that way. I'm going that way. Fair enough. Uh, Felix, you are hiding in the shadows quite well, uh, taking this in. It doesn't appear to be any aggressive action. Uh, the robed elves are just kind of standing there. You know, you can't hear shit coming out of that area either. You can kind of see Haggis. <laughs> <laughs> so you can surmise that there is some kind of magical enchantment in that region. And I, okay, so Haggis is in there, Robert's in there, a bunch of elves are in there. Can I see Copious or Leaf or anybody from where I'm standing? Leaf you see in the center. Uh, Okay. With, with Robert, with uh, Haggis, Copius is coming up from the rear, uh, kind of surveying the situation. Okay. If I can, <laughs> if I can get to Copius while still being hidden, I'm going to attempt that. If I, yeah, try to move in yep. the shadows. You'll you'll come out. You'll have to come out in the open because he's coming up the road. <sighs> I'd get okay. on Buttercup okay. and leave these guys if I were you. Uh, I'm not going <laughs> to I, I think he would. <laughs> They're by the stable, right? <clears throat> yeah. You can. Yeah, the Buttercup ain't going to crap right for a week. <clears throat> Too much cheese. <clears throat> Thank you, rat boy. I, I, yeah, I'm going to go to Copious and point out the situation that I think something very bad is about to happen to Robert. But more importantly, yep. something very bad is about to happen to Leaf and Robert. Wait. And maybe Haggis. And maybe Haggis, right? Because well, I think right he there. might be partly responsible, so that <laughs> is probably deserved. I'm yeah, smiling as can be. Nothing bad's happening to me right now. You have a blade Just silent. Out. <laughs> oh, yeah. And acid splash is prepared. Yeah, from our perspective, you have a blade out, looking menacingly. <laughs> Robert is in pain. I, I think Felix is right. So I, I guess the question I'm going to shoot back to Felix is, so do we just leave him? Uh, well, we, either that or we burn the place down. <laughs> I'm feeling like we got to burn the place down, but don't burn the beer wagon. <laughs> Which is wedged in between two of the buildings. <laughs> that Put it in all, only you, Copious, know which two buildings it is. We could don't all get a burn those play. two buildings. <laughs> yeah, can you... Do you know what these robed guys are doing? Have you ever seen anything like this, Copius? I, I assume they're lawgivers and they just finally caught up with Robert. But that's just a good <laughs> wait, can I, wait, can I see the elves? If I do, I would like to run up to them. I was thinking about Sparta kicking one of them, but then I thought that was a bad idea. They are at the far end of town on the rise. Wait, I will run up to them like this. Wait, as, as Felix and I are talking, Manfing goes running past us to attack the elves, right? Well, I'm not going to attack them. I just really need to ask them a question. Nope, nope. Is I this worse? Sparta? That's worse. Uh, card laid, card played. That's right. <laughs> Welcome to the man's world of gaming, son. The, yep. the, the good news is... Yeah, we can roll you up another character tonight. That's the good news. <laughs> That's an 18. Uh, as you Sparta kick Kung Fu style in, whoop, <laughs> they move. So one to two, you're going to drop kick Robert in the chest. Three to four, you're going to drop kick Leaf in the chest. Five to six, you're kicking Haggis in the head. <laughs> not roll, baby. I got to roll with my roll. D6. <clears throat> That's a six. Son of a bitch. <laughs> 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 Hit Haggis. <laughs> All right. 
Woo, so let's just unarmed strike. Uh, no, just a regular with dexterity as your modifier. All right. Does he take charisma damage? <laughs> so, I mean, it, it doesn't. Does it rub off? Does a toenail <laughs> cut his cheek? So I hit him with. So I already hit him right in the face. Well, that's that's who you're going to aim for. So what was your attack roll? Okay, so that is with. So I definitely hit you. It was over twenty. <laughs> so you're definitely getting hit in the face. <laughs> Man, um, he never hits anything except hit. party members. <laughs> Copi <laughs> Copius and Felix, as the flash goes cut through <laughs> you, you hear him hi ya <laughs> breaks into the uh, cone of silence. The elves whoop move and Haggis. <laughs> That's because they were after the same girl. Mm -hmm. What do I have to roll oh, for? What do I have okay. to roll for on arm strike? Uh, yeah, he, he's D6 claim for damage plus sure. strength. And then Haggis, give me a dex roll to see if you hang on to that blade of yours. Well, I do, do I do half damage since I'm hitting him or full damage? Full. All right, that's eight. I got an 18. You hang on to your blade, but he kicks you right in the face and gives you eight hit points of damage. Assholes and elbows. Uh, 10, 11, or 12, you Why get you hitting on my kicked, girl? Out, kicked out of the circle of silence. Uh. 10, he hits you so hard, you roll and roll out as the elves. Oh, <laughs> I saved him. You're uh. now behind him. Uh, Leaf, Robert. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Robert, you must be cleansed. I feel like I should do all my talking <clears throat> on mute at this point. Sure. Uh, let's see. I got one more cast left. Note, none of them have displayed weapons. <clears throat> A backstab is coming. It's mm, yeah, that'll work. Plus one, I'm gonna heal myself because I just have to touch myself for another seven points. Doing the Macarena. Uh, Leaf, uh, there were three of you. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, Man Fang has. Rescued Haggis by kicking him and himself out of the circle of trust. <clears throat> Much to the chagrin of you and Robert, the elves don't seem to give two craps about it. Anything you want to try and do? You're muted. Um, Probably on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Copius, Felix. Situation looks grim. <laughs> Can they see me now? Am I out on that side or the other side? Uh, you're still picking uh, trash out of your mouth because he hit you pretty hard. Okay, I have an idea. I'll bet. <laughs> <laughs> Copious Felix, you're up. Uh, I'm going. I I do not <clears throat> really want to get that close to these elves. I'm going to tell you, I have no desire to get closer to them. So I'm just going to hold my my action for the moment until this plays out a little bit further <clears throat> already I'll, I'll summon a pack my packed weapon so I have it but if, if it looks like they're attacking Robert and he is in danger of dying then I'm grabbing my spell. head in pain going then we will loot the body <laughs> <laughs> he had good stuff <clears throat> see and your I'm Zaki would have gone to waste and I don't know right. about you, Felix, but I'm going to move deeper into shadow next yep. to one of the buildings at, with a line of sight on the elven circle. Yeah, that sounds good. I I like that. Back into the shadows. Robert and Leaf, uh, you notice each of the elven clerics touch their chest and between their fingertips, a green beam of light. Foo, 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 foo. They touch foo, themselves foo. in front of a miner? Focus on Robert illuminating him in green light. Kobe, a, they're attacking him! A green globe encompasses everything. Leaf. Huh. 
Uh, Robert, uh, searing pain causes you to crumple to your knees. Uh, I was already there. And, Being a uh, cleric, do I know what it is they're <laughs> shitting him with? Give me a deep, heavy-duty arcana check. Can, uh, can, uh, uh, can Copius do that? Because if not, Felix and I pretty much just said, if it looks like they're killing Robert, we'll attack, but otherwise... So sure. right that's, now, a, that's a 24 on my <clears throat> arcana check. It appears to be some kind of divination spell or protective spell. Uh, because inside of it, there is no pain. Uh, Robert is crumpled to his knees, but he's not doing this. He's just crumpled to his knees, and he's, he's fighting to stand. Uh, so give me an insight check, Leaf, because you're the closest one. Uh, 26. I'm sorry, 26. Rob, Robert's not in pain. Hmm, I, I believe they're healing him. You have to tell us, but you can't because it's. It's in a silence. No, no. So, like, uh, something will it. happen. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, yeah. Leaf, <laughs> Leaf, you also notice a haggis is getting up with dirt and leaves and a footprint oh. right here, <laughs> not here, not here. Wait a minute, right I'm gonna, through here. I will point at Hoggis. <laughs> <laughs> uh man fang since you were the aggressor i'll give you first grab uh you didn't hit the elf and you know who you did hit what do you want to do uh also you can hear him <laughs> so you know he's outside the circle did the noise spell go away or can we just Nothing can get out of the circle or intelligence check since it's your forte. Yeah, uh, you've been dying to make him do one of those, haven't you? He's been rolling hot tonight. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you roll, Frankie. It was a two, but since it's a minus three, it's a big fat zero. <laughs> wow. You you have no idea. All you know is you can hear Hoggis. Pissing and moaning about how he got Cooper the face. <laughs> well, I'm going to start screaming at Leaf that, hey, what's going on? Am I dying? What's going on? Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm I'm just, before you do that, Hoggis, you can now hear him. Okay, okay, okay. I can hear Man Fang. Is that it? That's it. Okay. I'm going to okay. try to calm Man Fang down. He can't hear me talking, but I'll, I'll just try to calm him down. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's sorry. A, that's a technical. That always makes yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm preparing my weapon, by the way. Inside check. Sure. I'm going to communicate with everybody. That's a sign that says kill the elves, right? That's 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 the sign I'm getting. Oh, that's what I'm doing <laughs> with the elves. So just to be very clear what I'm doing, I'm taking my sword and I'm going to rub some of the goo from the um, water monster on it. Or... Yeah, the water monster. So it has that um, goo that turns things into it, or um, it, it adds. It adds. Are you gonna do that barehanded? Well, I, I assume a, a sword here. Just that's it. That's it. Like a yeah. like a hot dog. Just want to sure. just oh, pour okay. some goo on that. Sure, I got that. Uh, little Hellman's. That'll that'll go well. Uh, cool. Felix and Copius. Uh, you see this from Robert. You see this from Leaf. You see this from Manfang. Uh, and you see Haggis. <laughs> I, I think this, for me, this is a dice roll, personally, for an insight check. Sure. Uh, I, I don't, as far as I can tell, uh, well, I guess I can make an Arcana check to see <laughs> if I recognize the spell. Give it a shot. No, no. As far as I'm concerned, Felix, that, that's going to disintegrate Robert. That spell is going to kill him. Well, I, in case you're wondering, I rolled really low. <laughs> no, I didn't. I actually, I think you rolled high, and you're messing with me. I'm so glad I rolled up new characters from the next time we start again. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time to open fire. All right, yeah. which one are you aiming at? I'm going to shoot the same one. 
the one that's I don't know. They're all this green glow is coming out of all of them, right? One with the gong. It, it's a green globe encompassing the entire area. But Can I see them making oh, some. Oh, uh, only Robert and uh, Leaf. I think it's a circuit. We just have to take one out. We'll yeah, break the circuit. Yeah. It's, so if this is one of them, the the green globe surrounds them and encompasses everything <coughs> here. <clears throat> Whichever one's got their back to us, I guess it's probably going to be the closest one to us as well. Yeah, one through three. Yeah, he got three of them. Shooting that sure. sucker, both beams. Same one uh, Felix is shooting. They should yep, take one out. Wow, let's let's out do it. Gonna suck. Oh, hell. Robert, yeah. we're going to die. 24 <laughs> on the first beam. <laughs> sure. 20 on the second beam. Felix's arrow is true, but Ricochet is off the green globe. Copious's uh, spell uh, is that enchantment by chance? Uh, I have no idea. Please, please be enchantment. <laughs> I I honestly don't know. I I give me one second because it's sure. an it's a evocation. So evocation. Okay. Uh, it is absorbed by the green light, and it just kind of swirls around like a marble before it dissipates. <laughs> uh, Robert. Oh, no. That caused you a lot of pain. <laughs> do we see Robert scream? I'm going to look at Copious and do seven hit points as it radiates down. Uh, however, Felix Copious. Wait, can leaves. I roll that damage again? I think I can do a lot more than seven points. <laughs> I just got my gosh darn hit points back. Am up. I taking that damage too? You are not. Okay. Yeah, it's only Robert. Uh, but you notice, and probably everybody else notices, uh, the clerics kind of turn and look as Copious. Looks like and Felix is like, <laughs> uh, silver bars are starting to circle around Robert. They start like quarters. I'm going to look at Felix and say, I have a wagon. Do you want to go? Hey, fucker. It is time to leave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Manfang and Haggis. Yes. Oh, he's finally happy now. I am very <laughs> happy. I got my Joe Biden aviators. I was going to say Stevie Wonder. No, I like <laughs> nah, I'm more like the Joe Biden aviators. That's what I want to call them. Okay. Uh, because every uh, pair he's bought and were girls' glasses. Nice. And they were pink glasses. He, you know what? He's secure in who he is. <laughs> and, and confidence is a killer. Uh-huh. Okay, Manfang and Haggis, what are you going to do? Something's going on with Robert. It looks like he's getting caged. Manfang, I think Robert's in a lot of pain, and I think these elves are causing it. I th we have to pull the plug. We have to. <laughs> we need to kill these elves. Yeah, we do. Sure. Yeah. These chicks well, need to know who's in charge. Not that they're causing, they're hurting Robert. That's what we see. That's what everyone else sees. God damn I'm it. acid splashes conjugation. So, so I could. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm I'm outside of where their face. You are. Up oh, there he goes. There he goes. He's disappearing. He's got YouTube and Twitch playing on the same machine. He's just dying off. And he's gone. He shot it. He's a meme. There he is. <laughs> okay, so he's back. I can't tell. He's not blinking. Blink. Blink. Blink twice if you're being held against your will. <laughs> Blink three times if your dad's going to ground you for a month. <laughs> I don't know, but that's the creepiest portrait that was left frozen. <laughs> he, he's going to be my next haunted house portrait that uh, screams out vicious mockery at people as they enter. <laughs> All right, what are you doing, Man Fang? How you doing? That's what I'm Man Fang, you're up. What do you want to do? I will shoot acid breath at the people who are apparently hurting Robert. 
Sure. Bad for hurting my friend. Sure. Roll damage. All right. So what is it? Let me check. Roll That's kind of a kind of a spray, right? Yeah. It's a five. It's a five by thirty foot line. Ooh. Oh. Hey, hey, Leaf. You see this coming? Yep. Five by thirty feet. And you got to take a dex check of over 14. And if it's over 14, I guess that does half damage, right? Is that how de- is that how saves work? Take the rock to roll one and still get over 14. No, 2d6 acid damage. Six. That is nine if it hits. Sure. <clears throat> Leaf, did you make your save? I have not. Just a second. I prepare a sneak attack if you didn't. Um, um, 13, 14. So I rolled 14. So you take four half damage. Uh, Haggis, okay. How are you going to uh, sneak attack this? Um, by going into. Uh, by. D- from what just happened, um, what. what um, Manfang just did. What What just happened? I shot he breathed acid, acid uh, through the globe. And what seemed <laughs> to... What was the effect? Did uh, the... Um, liquid, the liquid passed through striking two elves and leaf. Interesting. Okay. Um, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to take my goo blade and I'm just going to... Goo blade. <laughs> I'm not liking... The shake of the head, which is why I'm going to try and uh, sneak attack this by going out for one second, coming back in, and then sneak attack. Sure. Okay. I do it to the close self. Sure. Sneak attack. That is a 14. Your blade rings off the green globe resoundingly, splattering the goo. Give me a deck save. <laughs> you know, it is a deck save, which is um, your, your uh, primary you're, ability. You're talking- I've been known as the dex, dexterity uh, god of my generation. Um, 24. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You managed to dodge the highly volatile and toxic liquid. Does uh, it go on Manfang? It does not go on Manfang because he stepped back to breathe the acid. Uh, clearly, martial weapons are not going to be able to pierce this protective green cone or spear. Uh, Copius and Felix, uh, uh, you head off down the road. Copius, D12 against me. Let's see if What's, your newfound yeah, friend is already there. What are the halflings doing at this time? Watching and drinking. Six. Uh, my, there it is. Seven. Hein Kenna is not there, but it looks like she's headed that way. I'll wait on her to get closer, and I'm going to tell Felix she owns the wagon. I'm trying to strike a deal with her. Let's see what if she's agreeing to the deal. Sure. Okay. <clears throat> Leaf and Robert inside. Robert, uh, clearly you are being encased in silver, but they're bars. <laughs> so you're in like a bird cage. I figure I'm going to reach out and touch and feel the burn and re- pull my hand back. I will attempt to free him. What, what will you do there? You are doing squat, man. Fang, you're outside looking in. Uh, Leaf, uh, I forgot. You I see Robert touch the silver bars that are elongating. Yeah. And pull his hand back after he takes seven hit points of damage, as it is eleven o'clock, and that moon is starting to cascade high. I'm going to cast a spell. Wait, I got to see if we can the cast. Well, you're the only one in here that can. Uh, Leaf, can. nothing bad is happening to you. No. Actually, Leaf, can you just walk out of the green bubble? I don't know. I'm going to try to walk out where, where, where uh, Manfang is at, if that's possible. <laughs> Manfang or Haggis? The one that sprayed the damn acid on me. Sure. Uh... You pass through the Stargate. 
and you're outside. I'm going to go up man fang and tell him to cool his jets. Aren't we out of the – You zone? are. Okay. Yeah. I tell Man Fang to stop it. He's not hurting them. He's just hurting me and Robert. So, yeah, where's Haggis on the other side? Uh, Haggis and the puddle of Abolith Goo are in close proximity to you. I'll tell Haggis the same thing. He's not going to hurt them. He just he's just going to hurt Robert. Copius and Felix are nowhere to be seen. And then I will mention that I see the chicken shits took oh. off again. Oh, uh, August is, is right there. <laughs> I'm talking about the other two chicken shits. Uh, we'll level them. Are we'll level them. I, don't, I don't know any other party members. The, huh? the other two gnomes are dead. Three at six level nine. All right. Yeah. Hein Kenna has arrived, Copius. D12 against me. Let's see if she accepts your offer. Oh, she she spits in my face. <laughs> I rolled a one. She does not feel that the agreement is in her best interest. She feels that the percentage ratio is askew. Well, I'm sorry if she feels that way. Is she, is she an, an willing to engage in a better uh, arrangement? She is indeed. I'll, I'll accept a counter offer. The original percentage was what? 20% uh, back to gold bidders. 10% back to old bidders. 10%, but she has to pay off equity first. Persuade me. No, I fumbled it. <laughs> no, that's that's also part of it. I want I want the equity cut in uh where's my D4? Okay. You know, I'll, I'll roll D10. Want me to kill her? She would like the equity dropped 40%. She'll pay 60%. Up front, today, right now. Hmm. Of the reduced equity stake for the franchise or the original equity stake? The reduced, 40% less, today, right now. One time offer. Uh, I'm gonna let me speak with my my uh, partner here, my and I'm gonna pull Felix aside and talk to her, and, and uh, said, "So, Felix, Felix, we're gonna kill her. <laughs> we're gonna kill her." <laughs> yep, I got the mermaid dagger well, right here. Well, I listen. She can give us some cash right now, and then make some cash to send back. So I'm I'm thinking. We're not going to take the beer wagon. I'm going to accept this offer. But can you steal her purse? Oh, yeah. But wait, if she's got the cash on her right now, why don't we just kill her and take the cash? Listen, this is about making long-term bank. Uh, I don't think we're going to be around for long-term. Oh, no. This is going to go back. Wait till you see the contract she's going to sign. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go... It, wait, do you want me to steal the entire purse or just a specific item out of the purse? Whole purse. So the, Once whole she purse. pays me the equity stake, whatever else you can get off of her, you take. Yeah, sure. But we'll, we'll be out the beer wagon. We will. Sure. You got it? All right. I'm going to go back and say, <laughs> well, you know, uh, Hein, you are a heck of a negotiator. I, I think that speaks well of you as a sales rep for the Volt Bitters Brewery. I'm willing to, to take this risk, but you'll have to sign some paperwork. Present me with the paperwork. Right. Robert, you are encased in tubes of silver. The green globe collapses. Uh, the silence spell is also removed. You are ill, my friend. Do not resist. All will be done to save you. They are uh, trying to kill me. I know they're trying to kill me. <clears throat> uh, you want to touch the silver bars again? No. <laughs> I'm my ass for that one. <laughs> She's not, not a player. Man Fang, uh, 
Man Fang and Haggis, uh, the Green Globe is gone. The uh, two that were injured by the acid splash whip around and glare at you. Haggis, you got nobody glaring at you, but you got at least one looking at you. I just say, this was all a big misunderstanding. And I walk away <laughs> towards um, the, the direction where um, Copius and Felix were. Okay. Oh, he hears uh, you, you get feeling and he takes off. <laughs> you get there and they aren't there anymore. <laughs> uh, what's uh, going? What are they doing to Man Fang? Can I see what they're doing? They're just telling him, knock his shit off. Well, what did I do? You hurt my friend. We have not hurt your friend at all. We there are saving your friend. Hurts. Hurts. <laughs> Look, he's in so much pain. What are you doing? Freaking elves, they're evil. I missed that. What did Man Fang do while I was up there? The green globe has dropped. Uh, Robert is in the silver bird cage. He's touched it at least once. Uh, the head cleric has said, "You are ill. You will be taken care of. Everything will be fine." Two of them that got acid splashed by Man Fang are glaring at him. Uh, he wants to argue with them. Uh, Haggis has said. All right, uh, bye. And he's headed over to where Copius and Felix were and says... Uh, they ran away, shit. guys. They, <laughs> they, they, they left us. Us? You ran away as well. I was looking for them so I could report back to you. The mayor comes up to one, two, three, four. Uh, 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 uh. Two leaf, uh, tankard in hand. Ugh, good thing they came. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a good thing they came. All right, you looks like your friends, uh, inflicted with lycanthropy. Is that what you call it? Well, there's another name, but. We're a PG-13 group right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently they're going to take care of that little problem for him. Yeah, it's going to cost you, but they'll cure him. Well, no, it's going to cost him. It ain't going to cost me. Yeah, how much is it going to cost? Oh, you have to ask the sisters. I have no idea. Sister, how much this is going to cost? Don't say... Never don't ask. I'm asking because it was too much. I'm going to kill them. But now they're... They could say yeah. anything now. They could say yes. Oh, we'll be taken care of. Pray yeah, for your friend. What the money? How much is that going to... How much do I, I don't see money. Robert, a moonlight beam enters into the small copse of trees that you are at, but is reflected away by the silver bars. And while you know what it will do to you, it does nothing to you while you are uh, trapped in this prison of silver. I'm going to try casting Thunder Wave again and see if I can blast these silver bars away. I don't know what to do. I'm just freaking out. Sure. All I know is that shit hurts. Sure. I can understand that. So So it's... I don't know how to, it's a dispel magic. Well, dispel magic. Is this an enchantment? It is. Well, <laughs> now, is, is Robert like floating off the ground or is this cage just sitting on the ground? The uh, bars are silver. Uh, it is kind of a, a, I don't even know how to describe it. It looks like a birdcage on top. Uh, on the bottom, he has the bars are crisscrossed, so he has a place. He can't sit down without touching them, but he can stand in place. Thunder wave? Yeah. Uh, it resonates off the bars, ricochets. That tumor in your head starts to activate yet again. Give me a dex check to avoid reaching out and grabbing a hold of a bar to steady yourself. Uh, 
Uh, I think I was just going to forget about being a were rat. Uh, that's good enough. You reach out, but remember, and you hold your head in pain. You can actually see the magic ricocheting off the bars. Uh, and you see at least two of the elven clerics. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> so, uh, when, if uh, Copius gets back and he sees that there's now a cage around Robert. Well, um, you're, uh, where are you getting your paperwork from? Uh, my scroll case. Of course. So you guys aren't even up there. <laughs> There you got it, Helmet Control. I, I'm sure Robert's probably dead by now, so you know, I don't have to worry about that. So, uh, so yeah, as soon as we're done, I assume we'll wander back see what happened. But Well, isn't it a voluminous uh, tome? It's a lengthy contract, yeah. It's going to be a couple minutes. Uh, <laughs> Leaf, I'm just uh, off my back, Felix, how about you? <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking cat in a hat contract. Sure. Uh, Leaf, uh, Robert only seems to be in pain when he activates magic inside that prison. I want to uh, go up to uh, whichever one of the nuns or whatever clerics that F1 of them seems to be more charged than the other, just speak to them sure. and ask them what divination they're using to uh, going to use to try to uh, cure Robert of his little problem. Our goddess Silvara must first cleanse the uh, wretch's soul. It will be painful, but he looks sturdy enough to be able to withstand the process. And then she orders the townspeople to burn the bodies of the others. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, pull that black armor off the uh, leader. Sure. And check his weapons too while I'm at it. Sure, straight up. D20. I will take his, his battle axes. Mm -hmm. I'm taking those. Sure, uh, D20, just make sure you don't prick yourself. Well, I am a prick, but I didn't prick myself. There you go. Uh, Manfang, uh, Haggis is left. Leaf seems to have uh, made verbal contract with one of the clerics. What would you like to do? Uh, you also noticed that Haggis and... Or, uh, Copius and Felix are MIA. All right, I guess I'll go over to Leaf and ask what he's doing because I got nothing better to do. Sure. So, what are you doing? <laughs> Leaf. You're muted, Leaf. That's because I'm crunching on Frito Lays. Mm. I'm stealing from the dead, robbing the dead. All right, cool. What kind of armor you got on? Uh, I got this turtle shell and I'm um, pretty. Chain mail. Uh, and what? Chain mail, I believe. Oh, you got chain mail on? Oh, okay. I believe he does. Oh, okay. not night. I've got this half plate that uh, I took. It up. I can wear heavy armor, light armor, medium armor, and I can have a shield. Yeah, you should keep your chain mail. That's not a problem. Okay. We can take that half plate off your shoulders. That won't do him any good if he's got chain mail on. And the tortle shell. He's going to get bulky soon. Uh, Felix and Copius, uh, after much scribbling, perusing, rereading, uh, amending, uh, denoting, uh, Hein Ken's has, Hein Kenna has signed the paperwork and uh, points to a loose board in the wagon uh, and Tells Felix he can lift that board, move the move the small ale cask, lift the board, and there they will find a strong box in the amount requested. So the redu reduced amount is sixty gold. Mm -hmm. We'll take the sixty gold. Uh, she will reimburse. Uh, you know, ten percent of all profits will be sent back to the gold bidders uh, through uh, whatever intermediary intermediary she chooses. Sure. Uh, however, failure to meet minimum sales goals each month will re result in a penalty. And if she ever reveals the Volbitter's recipe to anyone, um, she will be cursed by Granny Goodwitch. Her eyes will bleed. She will have rectal discharge and she will speak in tongues the rest of her life. <laughs> so the halfling, they live with rectal discharge. <laughs> so D12 against me just for <laughs> giggles. 
That's what makes the dexterity so high. <laughs> Did you get 10? Okay, that's fair. I agree to those terms. Perfect. I'll it walk over to the wagon, good. grab this stuff. It sounds correct. What? You know, every time she gets a little dysentery, she's going to blame it on you. <laughs> she blame it on Granny. You know, a uh, deal isn't complete until we shake hands. You are correct. <laughs> All righty. And that's where I slip the purse right yeah. off of it. Let's see it. <laughs> 17. You get her purse. Uh-oh. <laughs> Eight gold pieces in that purse. <laughs> oh, son of a gun. She kept all her money in the other strong box. Well, I, well, I figured we were going to be screwed when you said strong box. I'm like, ah, oh, she's not going to have anything on her purse. Nope. Uh, Robert, uh, that voice in your head tells you to relax. All will be cured. It will be painful. Endure as best you can uh, and prepare for the light. Are there, are there like holes or space between the bars? That's all I need. Crossbow bolt. Do what? Crossbow bolt. Suck on sure. this. Gotch. Woo, 20. Natural. Yeah, that hits her. Nine points of damage. Big damage. Yeah, that's, that's not going to make her happy. No. Go ahead and roll me a wisdom save. It looks oh, yeah, like. you should. Oh, 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 shit. It's on, Donkey Kong. I'm getting the hell out of here. 18. I have no bonus for wisdom, so it's just straight 18. Uh, nothing happens to you. Hey, all I know is I felt pain. They've trapped me. It hurts when I touch stuff. I'm attacking whatever way I can. They are going to move back down uh, behind trees and take a holding position. You scandalous, cowardly bitches! Oh, man, that moon is rising. <laughs> And I think, that? I think that is an excellent... Here's not working. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is an excellent stopping point. Uh, Haggis, uh, what would you think? I enjoyed it. Very good. Uh, man, a few words, ladies and gentlemen. Haggis Crabstein. Haggis <laughs> Crabstein. Uh, AJ, what would you think? It was good. Got to do some gambling, got to learn a new game. That's very easy. Made a whole lot of friends. Oh, yeah, they're very friendly there. Oh, man, Fang's gone. Uh, Jason, what'd you think? Uh, you know, I thought it was very productive, honestly. Uh, you know, Copius came out way ahead tonight with a new deal with a potential business partner, um, set up some more terms. We're looking good. And that whole Robert thing? Cost of doing uh, business, baby. I, I'm trying to figure out whether or not this town will burn to the ground now with Robert in jail. Seems like oh. it'll make it difficult. We'll Man see if Fang will be joining me. Grandma took his computer. Okay. We will see <laughs> if uh, we'll, we'll see if he survives the torment. Uh, Robert, uh, uh, little Frank, how'd you do? Uh, I thought it sucked because they're trying to bring light to my dark place. I don't like that. I'm trapped. Everything hurts. I can't burn shit down, and I only got to kill like two or four people. I don't remember the numbers now. <laughs> but I am not happy with this adventure. Freaking elves! Nobody likes you. I, I will see that review on Yelp. Uh, Frank <laughs> Senior, what'd you think? <laughs> I, I, a lot of, uh, <laughs> a 
a lot of angst waiting on this elf thing to play out. Thank you for not getting too carried away. I'm they're they're here they're, to help. I'm assuming they're a hell of a lot higher level than we are. Uh, smidge. Yeah, uh, smidge. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, they deal with lycanthropes on a regular basis. <laughs> so uh, yeah. that's uh that's cool it's been fun i i'm anxious to find out what the deal is with this armor it's uh not your regular armor that does it feel sure. lighter yeah it's very uh pliable too very, very pliable. flexible yeah. well if i live through this i'll cast identify on it i'm gonna i'm gonna see if i can put it on oh you'll live through it there uh gimp You'll you know fine. my armor class would be 20 if I wore that. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you'd only get hit half the time. Uh, little Frank, what'd you think? He has no headphones. Oh, here, buddy. Here. Oh, <laughs> he <asked me> <laughs> That's why he's over there ignoring you. <laughs> what? What's going on? What'd you think? Uh, what'd what'd you think? We're done. He wants to know what you thought of the game. Oh, Wait I it. thought it was fantastic. I thought... I felt that it was great that I got to dance with a chick. Jan yep, that was great. I got to sing a great rendition of It's the End of the World, and I kicked Hoggins in the face. I think overall, it was I, I think overall, yeah. that is a yeah. big win right there. Did you yeah, break his nose? One. Ask him if you broke his nose. Oh, did I break his nose? He needs to break his se seven hit points, but uh, oh, I didn't break his he, nose. You can oh. uh, snap it back into place. Mm -hmm. uh, so it looks like Robert's given me the only negative Yelp review. Everybody else had a blast. No, you're all right. You're all right. I don't yeah. need to. All right, cool. Folks, uh, sometimes it's you not all combat. It's all sometimes it's uh, just yeah. messy, as Robert found out tonight. Uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. Two this seven two nine. Shoot the shit uh, on Discord. Join us there. If you want to buy our crap, go ahead. Most importantly, if you want to join us for the one shot on next Saturday or on the talk show on Tuesday, M Hobo Inc. Gmail or Twitter. Thanks to Pirate Dog Dice who had a heyday. Thank you, Haggis Crabstein, for taking one for the team. Oh, and, of course, Adventure that. Sense. Uh, Haggis can't smell it right now, but if your game stinks, you can always get some Adventure Sense and smell the deep magic shop that Robert feels as he scorches his hands on these silver bars. Folks, for all of us here at the Margu Tri-Generational Campaign, have a great rest of the weekend, and we appreciate you watching. Mwah. Bye.